Hi, I'm Nikita Burdick and I am the Mortgage Mama. I'm also a lender and a lawyer. Prior to becoming a lender, I focused solely on my legal career for over eight years. Now I focus on loans, but I use my legal knowledge to my advantage when helping clients. I'm still licensed as both. I'm going to start releasing videos on my YouTube and Instagram regarding law and loans so you can subscribe to learn more. On this episode, we're going to talk about bankruptcy and home loans. Getting a home loan after bankruptcy is possible, but it does require some patience on your part. You also need to take some steps to increase your chances of qualifying for a home loan after the bankruptcy is completed. For instance, a bankruptcy will lower your credit score significantly, and the bankruptcy itself will signify to lenders that you are lending risk. Okay, so let's first talk legal. What is bankruptcy? First, there are two main types of bankruptcy, and that is Chapter 7 and Chapter 13. Chapter 7 bankruptcy can be looked at like debt elimination, while Chapter 13 can be viewed as setting forth a plan to repay your debts. Liquidation under Chapter 7 is a common form of bankruptcy. It is available to individuals who cannot make regular monthly payments towards their debts. Businesses choosing to terminate their enterprises may also qualify for Chapter 7. Chapter 7 provides relief to debtors regardless of the amount of debts owed or whether a debtor is solvent or insolvent. When you file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, the court places an automatic temporary stay on your current debts. This stops creditors from collecting payments, garnishing your wages, foreclosing on your home, repossessing property, evicting you, or turning off your utilities. The court will also take legal possession of your property and appoint a bankruptcy trustee, which his job is to review your finances and assets and oversee your Chapter 7 bankruptcy. They will sell certain property that, will, that the bankruptcy will keep when it's not exempt and use the proceeds to repay the creditors. The trustee will also arrange and run a meeting between you and your creditors called a creditor meeting where you'll go to a courthouse and answer questions about your filing. At the end of the process, approximately four to six months from your initial filing, the court will discharge your remaining debts meaning you don't need to pay them anymore. However, some types of debts generally are not dischargeable through bankruptcy, including child support, alimony, court fees, and some tax debts and most student loans. Chapter 7 bankruptcy allows you to keep your stuff and get on a more affordable repayment plan with your creditors. You'll need to have enough income to afford the payments and be below the maximum total debts, um, currently $400,000 for unsecured and $1 million plus for secured debts. A court will approve the Chapter 13 repayment plan, which usually lasts three to five years, and your trustee will collect your payments and disperse them to your creditors. Once you finish the plan, the remainder of the unsecured debts is discharged. All right, now we have talked about Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcy, so let's talk loans. Can you get a home loan after declaring bankruptcy? One thing to keep in mind is that even if you qualify because you waited the prerequisite amount of time, bankruptcy will affect your credit score, and this in turn can affect your ability to obtain a home loan. You will want to speak to your lender to see where your credit score is, and if it's not where it needs to be, then you will need to get on a credit repair plan. Okay, so the amount that has to, of time that has to pass before you can get a home loan depends on the type of home loan and the bankruptcy you filed. If you filed a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, then the following timeline applies. From the discharge date, meaning it is officially over. For conventional, you have to wait four years or two years with extenuating circumstances. For FHA, two years or one year with extenuating circumstances. VA is two years and USDA is three years. If you file Chapter 13, then you have to follow the, time, follow the timeline below. Either it is two years from discharge date or four years from dismissal date. Dismissal is no longer is longer because it represents a borrower who was unable to complete the Chapter 12 plan and therefore received a dismissal. Once you have met the prerequisite time period, then you may be able to get a home loan if you have qualifying credit and meet additional requirements. You should contact your lender to see if you qualify. Thank you and subscribe to my channel for more about lawn loans.